perhaps if you were really smart, smarter than me, when you looked at a slide like this, you might say, hey, well, this kind of looks like long. I could see alveoli here, but it looks like they're completely filled with some pink stuff. Well, you got the correct diagnosis. This pink stuff is proteinaceous type material and the disease is called pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. This is a proteinaceous material that collects inside of the alveoli. It produces very little by way of inflammatory reaction. It's thicker than pulmonary edema and it's not blood it's all, at all, it's proteinaceous material. This uh, disease has been recognized for a long, long time. It has also been kind of a mystery for a long, long time, and maybe it will forever. However, recently, and even not recently, uh, when some of this proteinaceous material was analyzed, it was found that it had a lot of resemblance to surfactant. And uh, as recently as 2007, uh, there have been some studies to show that uh, the uh, surfactant uh, material is the primary uh, problem with this disease. An abnormal surfactant material is being produced and it accumulates. And as recently as within the past year or so, uh, it was found that these patients have autoantibodies to granulocyte macrophage colony stimulation factors. So it's in probably an autoimmune disease, and these people are making uh, antibodies against their own uh, CSF uh, simulation factors uh, for um, granulocytes and macrophages. And as a result, abnormal proteinaceous debris builds up, representing abnormal uh, surfactant material. If you remember hyaline membrane disease or respiratory disease of the newborn also has proteinaceous material inside of alveoli, only it's called uh, hyaline material. Well, this can be thought of uh, if you're a, a lumper rather than a splitter as being uh, extreme hyaline membrane uh, disease of adults. And all of this stuff is surfactant. Notice if we would like to go in we could see that the basic architecture of the um, alveolar septae is preserved. But as you know, the type two uh, macrophages and the, uh, I'm sorry, type two pneumocytes and the clara cells and the bronchioles make surfactants. And in this case, they're making accumulations of abnormal surfactant. Um, you don't see any type of neoplasm here. Uh, you don't see any significant inflammatory reaction. Uh, you can see areas where the lung is perhaps just congested rather than filled with proteinaceous material. But at least in this section, oh, probably two thirds, uh, four fifths of the alveoli in this area are just filled with the uh, abnormal proteinaceous surfactant material. Thank you very much.